know what, Custard? What, Strawberry? That trip only made me more curious about this wonderful world around us. Yeah! Oh? The more I see of it, the more I want to see. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I give up. You can make it, Custard. Remember, there are always ways around the obstacles you're facing. If you have the right attitude, you'll find a way. Stay positive, and sooner or later, you'll get where you want to be. There was no obstacle so great that Phileas Fogg could not overcome it. When Mr. Fogg told his friends at the club that he could journey around the world in a mere 80 days, they laughed. <laughs> it's impossible, they said. On the contrary, he said calmly, it's quite possible. I shall return, he told them, at this exact time on the 16th of September. And so it was exactly a quarter before nine o'clock on that Saturday morning that Phileas Fogg left for his journey round the world in 80 days. No one believed that Mr. Fogg would make it. 80 days couldn't be enough time. But at one second before a quarter of nine o'clock on September 16th, into the club door stepped Phileas Fogg. And in his calm voice, he said, my friends, here I am. But Phileas, cried his friends, this is the 81st day since you left. Gentlemen, said Mr. Fogg, you forget that I crossed the international date line. It is here that the new day begins. By crossing in an easterly direction, I lost an entire day. So you see, I have indeed come around the world in exactly 80 days. The end. Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne is one of my all-time favorites. Come on. Nobody could actually get that far that fast. Unless they were in a jet airplane, it's impossible. A lot of things are possible. If you have the right attitude, you can find ways around most any obstacle. She's right, as always. It's all about having a positive outlook. But of course, some things are still impossible. Like going around the world in 80 days without, as you say, a jet. I'd give every pie in this wagon to anyone who could do that. If anybody could do it, Strawberry Shortcake could. She can find ways around any kind of obstacle. Uh, Ginger? Yes, yes, I know. But still, she couldn't possibly make that trip. Uh, she could do it with her eyes closed. If she didn't make it, oh. I'd expect something in return. How about every berry in Strawberry Land? Why, yes. I guess that's a fair deal. What would I do without these kids? I'll be back in 80 days, but I don't think you will be. Take good care of our berry plants. Have a nice trip. Ginger Snap, what did you just do? Uh, said something I shouldn't have, didn't I? I'll say. And the worst part is, he's right. You'll never make it back in time, Strawberry. Maybe not, but maybe, just maybe, I will. Pretty cool, huh? Ginger Snap had it in her garage. Can you believe it? You gotta be kidding, right? You really think you're going around the world in this old thing? Hey, I made that myself. It'll go anywhere. Anywhere, you say? Hmm. But is it safe? Sure it is. It can fly in the air and float in the water. Well, it is an amazing piece of machinery. Ah, but what's this? These bolts are a bit loose. Better fix it. We wouldn't want to have an accident. Here, let me give it a gentle tap. Yes, that should do it. Ought to work like a charm now. Hey, what did you do? Strawberry Sharky Claw. Whoa, what's happening here? Oh, how dreadful. Ah, well, you might as well give up. No way you'll make it now. Strawberry, get up here and stop this thing. I'm coming, Peppermint. Bon voyage. Good luck. Here, here, take my hand. Thanks, Peppermint. 
Now get us down, please, Strawberry. I want to go home. What happened here? Nothing's working. I have to fix all this. Just turn it off. Make us land. We're going to be fine, Peppermint. We're already over the ocean. I guess that means I'm coming along for the ride, huh? Welcome aboard, Shipmate Peppermint. We could be anywhere. We could just be flying around in circles. 